Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. Humanity is constantly on the edge of being wiped out. What's a horrifying fact a person could have lived happily not knowing? You are about 120 times more likely to be killed by an immediate family member if you win the lottery. If you die in the house, and no one is around to feed your pets, they start with your squishy parts, lips, eyes, ears and nose. This happened with an old lady. However, she wasn't dead, just paralyzed. When you pick up a severed head, always be sure to use two hands. This is because the weight of said head isn't perfectly distributed like it is with a bowling ball. It is therefore has a tendency to topple from one's hands if not handled correctly. When you go swimming in a lake or any untreated body of fresh water that does not have steady water flow, there is a small chance you will inhale an amoeba that will subsequently eat your brain. And you will almost certainly die within the week. Having a singular microscopic organism slowly eat away at your brain over the course of several days, all the while you know there is nothing that can be done to stop it, is surely more horrifying than inhaling a bit of water for a few minutes, wouldn't you think? When tarsiers, one of the smallest primates, get too stressed, they commit suicide by repeatedly banging their head against a tree. Dogs like squeaky toys because they mimic the dying cries of their prey. I've told this to so many people and all of them get really mad for some reason. At least when my dog is done killing his toys, he tries to lick them back to health so they will squeak again. If you're exposed to rabies, you will have absolutely no symptoms for months, potentially. As soon as you start showing symptoms, you are going to die. There is nothing that can be done for you. Go to the ER if you are bitten by any wild animal that can potentially carry it. Rabies is very nearly the worst way to go, and that's considering dying of starvation, fire, drowning, or jumping from an airplane. You go into delirium and a deep fear of water, and slowly die of lack of water as the virus bursts into your brain. Best case scenario, Milwaukee procedure, you end up brain dead. I would personally shoot myself if I was diagnosed with it. There's no certainty that the universe will not end in the next 10 seconds. Male otters are extremely sexually violent and aggressive. A significant number of female otters, otter pups, and baby seals, yes, baby seals, die from the trauma caused by, often forced, sexual encounters with male otters. Causes of death include, but are not limited to, drowning, internal perforation, and biting. A full-grown raccoon can fit inside your butt. It can fit in a hole 4 inches wide and your butthole can spread up to 9 inches. It's basic math. You could have an aneurysm in your brain right now waiting to explode and you'd never know. Your aorta can do the same thing if it's enlarged. In 90% plus of cases, the first sign of an enlarged aorta is that it ruptures and you die almost immediately. Hundreds of toddlers in the US die every year from falling into septic pits and drowning. When I was five we used to go over to my mom's friend's house and they were these massive rednecks in this old house where the septic was broken would run across the yard like a small creek between these two cement things with holes in the top. Anyway, her oldest daughter was about eight and dropped her homework paper in it. I reached to grab it and fell right in. I have full memory of it. The hosing off and everything. Due to how your perception of time changes as you age, assuming you live a long life and for of old age, you've lived half your perceived lifespan by age 25. I think it's because of how we see time in relation to our total life. Like at 15, one year is 6.7% of your life, compared to 80 where one year is only 1.25%. The older you get the smaller the percentage a year goes. This is why the years go faster as you age. So I'm guessing after a certain point everything muddled together. Just a hypothesis though. A shark's VJJ and butt are the same hole. Male sharks have two penises. One of them is used to secure the female in place. This was told to me by a relative that works as a funeral director. Some parts of your body might start decaying a few days before you die. Someone replied, I can definitely confirm. I am a hospice nurse and I also did end of life care with geriatric patients for many years. You always recognize the smell and it never changes. Statistically speaking, somebody you know personally and interact with on a daily basis is a pedophile. Any woman who has been 11 years old knows this to be true. Guys ain't safe either to be honest. I once had a high schooler want to show me wrestling moves because I was about 12 and into wrestling as a school sport. Looking back he was actually trying to cop a feel. 
I think it's just still a lot more taboo to admit such things as a guy than it is as a girl nowadays. There are some diseases caused by prions, a type of infectious protein, for which there is no known cure. Prions accumulate in your brain and damage your nerve cells irreversibly, leading to seizures, loss of memory and speech, blindness, changes in personality and loss of mobility. They kill off brain cells and create literal holes in your brain. Once symptoms start showing most people die within a year. Some people are believed to have been infected by eating infected meat. There could be a gamma ray burst coming for us and we wouldn't know until we all got literally obliterated from existence. Also, the universe is so large that not a single thing that anyone does will matter, not a thing. At all times, we could be surrounded by fourth dimensional beings. But we just can't see or detect them in any way because we live in a third dimension. They could be observing and studying us at this very moment. And perhaps the reason why we haven't found any aliens yet is because they are fourth dimensional beings. Because of the cellular makeup of our eyes, we see better in low contrast light in the periphery of our vision. The way the cells work means they have a much lower activation, so in the dark or between very minute monochromatic differences you will see better out of the corner of your eye than your central vision, which is more geared to complexity and color. So with that in mind, theoretically, if there was something you could make out in the corner of your eye but not visible when you look directly at it, it could really be there. When a brown recluse spider bites you, your skin will often start to rot around the bite. This is only in very rare cases and often with immunocompromised patients. Also many pictures you see online are actually staph infections. The side effect of most bites is a simply a hard welt that doesn't appear to heal well for weeks where the skin necrotized. Anything worse and you can go get a shot from the walk-in to cure it. Most people in the southern US have been bitten by a brown recluse at least once and don't even know it. There is a very high chance aliens could be far more technologically advanced than us and we would be facing extinction if they found us. And yet, we are trying to find them. If aliens are watching us, they are seeing us in however many light years away they are in the past. If they are 65 million light years away, they are looking at dinosaurs. Squirrels sometimes feed off of animal carcasses. Most animals will eat other animals. You can find videos of herbivores eating meat all over the internet. Like the video of a cow just swooping a baby chick on a single swoop. Hardcore. If someone falls from a building dull enough then when they hit the ground their bones will crack and break under their weight, and their organs will explode. I think their guts will also come out of their mouth and anus as well. That firefighter documentary that accidentally captured the only footage of the first plane hit on September 11th mentioned this. There's a moment when they're on the ground floor of one of the towers before it collapsed, and you can hear these incredibly loud bangs. The sound was coming from jumpers hitting the concrete, sounded like gunshots. Horrible. There is a small parasitic fish called the candir that can swim up your penis and latch on to eat it from the inside. It lives in the Amazon. Some animals, notably Tasmanian devils, have a cancer that can spread between the species through bodily fluid contact. Imagine that in humans. Diamond dust is a horrifying poison. When ingested, your body is unable to round of the sharp edges like it can with glass. It will cling to your insides, the muscle movements of your guts will scrape your insides, the dust particles will get pushed deeper and deeper until you die of internal bleeding. It takes months to die of this and you will be in immense pain, once inside of you there's nothing that can be done anymore. When a Brazilian wandering spider bites a male, it can deliver long, painful erections lasting hours on end. They're deadly, but yes this can happen before death. From what I know it's less of an erection, and more of your penis swelling with painful pressure like a boil, as the hemotoxic effects cause a massive spike in blood flow. But I mean, if you're into biochemical PP and ball torture, you do you boo. There is a biological weapon that consists in a virus that, if released, would utterly kill the entire human population. And presumably a ridiculously high percentage of all the living things on Earth. This massacre is just a slight mistake away from happening. Romberg's disease can cause all tissues of half your face to spontaneously shrink. This includes bone. Chick culling is the process of killing newly hatched chicks for which the intensive animal farming industry has no use. It occurs in all industrialized egg production, whether free range, organic, or battery cage, including that of the UK and US. Because male chickens do not lay eggs, and only those on breeding programs are required to fertilize eggs, 
they are considered redundant to the egg-laying industries and are usually killed shortly after being sexed, which occurs after they hatch. Many methods of culling do not involve anesthetics and include cervical dislocation, asphyxiation by carbon dioxide and maceration using a high-speed grinder. Asphyxiation is the primary method in the United Kingdom, while maceration is the primary method in the United States. By 2020, U.S. producers expect to sex the eggs before they hatch, so male eggs can be culled. There are billions of people on the world meaning that there are people who you won't even know exist. They will live their own independent lives without ever seeing or hearing about you and you will live without ever knowing of their existence. In the 60s there was an experiment to attempt to teach dolphins to comprehend English. Even going as far as to attempt to teach it to speak English itself. The experiment went south when one of the people working on the experiment, Margaret Howell of Ott, started having sex with a dolphin named Peter, something she claims the dolphin initiated. At the same time of this, one of the other people involved, neurologist John C. Lilly, was given the go-ahead to start experimenting with LSD, and so decided to also use LSD on the dolphin. Due to a gigantic cut in funding, they were forced to move, and the dolphin was kept in horrible conditions, and taken away from his trainer buddy Margaret and so committed suicide by drowning itself. Humanity is constantly on the edge of being wiped out. Whether it be from nukes or from the Yellowstone supervolcano, it could happen at any moment and there'd be nothing anybody can do about it. When a Komodo dragon bites you, it sends a complex jolt of venom and extremely nasty bacteria under your skin. They don't even own toothbrushes in most cases. These guys can't move very fast but they don't have to, because after you bail out to get away from the giant lizard, your own adrenaline sends the toxins racing through your veins, and in a few hours you will be twitching your last, sicker than you ever believed possible. The Komodo dragon casually follows your tracks in the sand and gulps you down like a Pop-Tart while you watch helplessly. You're welcome. Japanese giant hornets exist. They have 6 centimeter wingspans and prey on honeybees. They can kill up to 40 bees per minute, and the feed on the larvae once all the adult bees are dead. Oh and their venom is potent enough that 10 stings is serious enough to require hospitalization and the stings can literally melt your flesh in the area around the injury, creating a hole. It's obviously extremely painful. The fact that the government has pre-recorded broadcasts in cases of emergencies. Including what to do if aliens attack. In the US at least, the act of eating human flesh itself is legal. The illegal part comes in the harvesting of human flesh. However, if your victim is willing, is alive at the time you carve from them, and is alive after, then that arm or whatever you took off is fair game to eat, and it's not illegal. And there is a story of a guy who lost a foot and then made tacos out of the meat. I'm not linking it. You're able to bite off your own fingers just like carrots. There's an instinctive response in your brain to refrain from biting it off if you try this. So even though your fingers are similar to carrots in that manner, it's much harder for you to tell yourself to bite your fingers off. The cause of death from crucifixion is actually suffocation, not blood loss. The nails would not go through the hands as depicted with Jesus, but between the bones and the forearm near the wrist, where the bone has a gap. Then one nail was used through both heels of the feet so that the person's legs were slightly bent off to one side. This puts all of their weight on their diaphragm. The only way to relieve the weight and breathe is to stand on the nailed feet. They can survive a couple days before their legs get too exhausted to stand. If the people crucifying him or want him to die quicker, they would break their knees so they couldn't stand. Serial killer Joe Matheny owned a food stand and sold burgers that combined animal meat with the flesh of his victims to unsuspecting customers. A horror movie called The Bay is about a parasite that takes over the body of humans. It is very loosely based on an actual parasite that severs the blood vessels of fish's tongues causing the tongue to fall out, and it attaches itself to the stub becoming the fish's new tongue. The pictures are pretty disturbing. The entire Fermi Paradox. Basically it states that there is some reason why we haven't contacted or been contacted by alien life. A few of my favorite hypotheses are all intelligent life seeks to destroy others, everyone is listening but no one is transmitting, Earth is being deliberately left alone just to observe us in our natural habitat. Then of course there is the great filter which says that something out there is killing off civilizations before they are advanced enough for interstellar communication. When decapitated, you are still alive for about three more seconds before dying. That one day all the stars in the universe will exhaust all their fuel, leaving the entire universe cold and dark forever. 
When someone is partly crushed by something extremely heavy, like if a giant beam fell on the lower torso of a person, that person won't die. The heavy weight cuts off the circulation, causing only a few ounces of blood to seep out. However, once the weight is removed, the person dies almost instantly. All the blood gushes out like a popped red water balloon. A person skinned alive, if treated for pain or blood loss will die of hypothermia because skin is a big part of regulating body temperature. Hisashi Aochi received the highest dose of radiation ever observed in a human. He went through horrible effects of radiation poisoning, some of which had never been observed. Internal organs shutting down, white blood cell count near zero, complete elimination of his DNA. Perhaps the most disturbing effect, was that his skin began to peel and rot. The doctors tried to perform skin grafts, but due to fluids leaking from his pores, the grafts wouldn't take. On day 59 of his treatment, his heart stopped three times in 49 minutes causing severe damage to his brain and kidneys. He requested many times to be allowed to die, and said he didn't want to be a guinea pig anymore. He was kept alive for 83 days, partly due to his family's request, partly due to the opportunity to research radiation poisoning. In his final days, he was described as a rotting corpse with a beating heart. It's very rare, but sometimes it's possible for a woman's body to absorb an ectopic pregnancy. The body calcifies the fetus to prevent it from decomposition and it eventually turns to stone and is not usually discovered until many years later. This is known as a lithopedian or stone baby. Also, there's rare a phenomenon called post-mortem fetal extrusion, aka coffin birth. This sometimes occurs when a pregnant woman is buried, the buildup of gases in her body during decomposition can push the fetus out of the vagina after burial. Obviously this is nearly impossible nowadays with modern medicine and post-mortem examinations, but this was much more common over 100 years ago. Pool drains are literally powerful enough to suck your organs out of your body. It's one of the grisliest way people have been killed. Thanks for listening to Radio TTS. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more videos. Click the right box for the Reddit Facts playlist. Let us know in the comments what your favorite fact is. Merry Christmas.